What's going on, everybody? Look, look hey, who everyone. I got. <laughs> look who it is. It's a speed. It's the long lost guy. <laughs> it's, it's the guy that's been missing. Everybody keeps going, where's speed? Where's speed? Where's speed? There's speed. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Obviously, he's still playing around with that camera, trying to get it working, right? Uh, we'll get it all fixed up. Breeze, um, I just checked the tracking on your package. You'll have it tomorrow. Um, it looks like K-Fun already got theirs, but yours is coming tomorrow. Why it got there so slow, I don't know. But Well, besides me being slow, on top of me being slow, the post office was slow, I guess. I don't know. But did, you like, add, did you add another light? You look really bright tonight. I changed the bulbs, and unfortunately, hey, these are not dimmable because I'm a dummy and forgot to buy dimmable bulbs, so it ha it's either on or off. I actually unscrewed a couple of the bulbs just to dim it down a bit, and it's still bright. <laughs> I know. It looks like you got this little, like, almost like a light rays coming down above your head. Yeah, it's it may be because of the, where, the way the camera's positioned there. I can um, move it around a little bit and... Still got light rays going on, but okay, it's fine. Bazinga. Bazinga, yeah, that's it. Bazinga. Um, so, I don't know what's been going on with you, but, you know, there I got a couple of things in um, since you were here last. Uh, one of them I already showed. I showed the Ghoul RDA last week, I do believe. Well, it's right here, actually. Yeah, the Ghoul. This is a single coil RDA, actually. Um, I know. Yeah, it's not bad. I was I was kind of impressed with the flavor I'm getting from it. It's it's interesting the design, the way they did the airflow on this. But I got some other stuff in, including oh, I got to fix the title because the bot, you know, I, I have to fix that. There we go. How about that? Let's see if the bot goes. Okay, let me fix the title now. Which this may make Jay come in here and go, what the heck's going on? But hey, you know what? If it does, it does. I do have a 502 clone to play with tonight, um, and I found I found the problem with it and have fixed the problem. Which, if it did have a ball bearing, I don't know. Um, this was sent to me, so it doesn't really matter if I lost it because now it actually works the way it's supposed to. Um, but it's a clone. What can you expect out of it? It's a clone. Um, what it is, um, if y'all are familiar with the 502. What is that weird noise? Yeah, it might be me. Okay. The the 502 is an RDA that Jay Hayes designed and had made um, in the USA. Uh, and this is a squonkable RDA and it has this special center post that has a ball bearing and a spring in there and it's cut in such a way that, you know, you squonk it, the juice comes up, comes out of the top and the bottom, and then it sucks it back down into it. The, the clone, um, <laughs> the clone's kind of funny because when you squonk it, it does not let juice go back down into your bottle. It's pretty much like an airtight system. When you squonk it up, the ball bearing comes down, freezes it off, juice can't go back down in there. So the only way to make your bottle open back up is to unscrew the RDA let the air back in and screw it back down on there which is a pain in the roll but so basically um i'll have to show you all this in the close-ups but yeah obviously this box is not the real 502 box this is one of the clone boxes here and um it is what it is but uh i'll show you all that and we're gonna have to do a build on this and since i have um i'm glad speed was gone did I buy the 502? Pat, this is not a, and I got it in the title, this is not an authentic 502. This is a clone 502. I had this sent to me. So, this is not an authentic 502. I want to make that clear. Um, the, you know, the time that I did try to go buy an authentic 502, they were sold out. You couldn't get one. So, I was like, well, damn. Um, not to I mention, you know, they're, oh, you got one? They're yeah. not, you know, they're not cheap. They're not cheap by any means. Um, no, they're not. Dry, drive a, drill a hole. Um, I did not have to drill any hole. Uh, basically, I took apart the the center post and took the spring and the ball out, and now it works fine. Uh, go figure. Uh, 
it if you leave that ball bearing and that spring in there they don't have the right they don't have a cut out in such a way to allow that ball to stay up high to where the juice can flow back down in there so it screws everything up but the dna 250 paranormal oh my goodness this thing is dead sexy that is nice yeah i was just looking at those today yeah, this thing, um, this has, uh, mute my mic, two seconds, okay. Oh, that, I think that did it. Oh, was that, did y'all hear a noise when my mic was on? I can turn the fan over a little bit if that's what's causing it. I was hearing something else, I was hearing something from Speed's mic, and that went away whenever he did something, so, I don't know. Yeah, no, I was on the wrong mic for, for oh, okay. a few minutes. Um... And I also got, which you probably didn't see. You've got a lot of new stuff I haven't seen. The Feedlink Revo kit. I'm actually oh. impressed with this little thing. The Feedlink? Feedlink. Here, here. I'll let oh, you feed see link. it. Yeah. Feedlink Revo never, Revo kit. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's a, Aspire. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's Aspire. Oh, there you go. Um, There's a high-pitched sound coming from Scuba. Me. It's your voice. <laughs> yeah, it's my voice. I sound like a, a mouse or something. That's it. Um, this particular tank on top of here takes those flat round coils. And, you know, I'm a big fan of being able to rebuild my own stuff. And if it's like that, I can't build it because it's a stock coil that you can't, you can't do Wait anything. Wait a second. How do you have a flat round coil? How do you have a, Okay. You don't know. Okay. Let me try and show you this coil real quick, because if, you know, oh, you're not on this one. Well, we're going to have to fix that right now. And no, Aries, I, I keep getting that sound every once in a while myself. I don't know. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Let me move you up a little bit. I'll show you what I mean, flat round coil. Um, You probably have, I guess you haven't seen these before then, so we're going to we're going to hook you right up here. Let me make you a little smaller so we can see what's going on here. There we go. All right. So inside of here. Oh, it's the disc. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even get to it. You're like, okay, yeah. No, There's no, they're all saying it's the disc. And I'm like, oh, okay. This coil is actually taking a beating. I've been vaping the bejesus out of this thing. Um, and it actually is, still vapes really good. Is that... Does that actually work pretty good? It does. You know, I thought it was going to suck. I really thought it was going to suck. And the more I vape it, the more I like this thing. Um, I I really thought it was going to be bad and, you know, it was going to have a bad taste to it. But it actually vapes really good. I'm impressed with the flavor I'm getting from it. I mean, there's no wattage adjustment on this thing. This is basically, it's based off what you build on there. The, the. Uh, stock coils that you get are like a 0.13. So um, if bad. you build, if you, I know if you build over a 0.2, it doesn't hit good. You're going to get, and now if you want a really cool vape, yeah, you can build over 0.2. But if you want a nice, warm, flavorful vape, I recommend in the 0.1 range. Somewhere between 0.10 to 0.18 maybe. Somewhere in that range, you should be good. If my fan looks like a coils. Really? All right. Look, let me fix hey, my Gail. camera back here. Y'all are giving me crap. All right. Anyways, um, the paranormal, the DNA 250C has that replay feature, which I'm going to show y'all when we get to that. Ooh. But uh, that that feature actually works. Um, I was like, wow. It, so um, when did you get it? Um, this stuff, I, the paranormal and the 502 I got like two days ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, now the other stuff I've had since last week, I think, uh, so... Where'd you get your paranormal? <laughs> well, the only reason I have that is because you weren't around. <laughs> <laughs> and Jazzy was doing a show, and Jazzy was like, yeah, I barely used this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, shit. I'm going to get rid of it. I was like, I got dibs. Speed ain't around. I got dibs. So, yeah, I got it from Jazzy. Um... And it's in great shape. It really is. Uh, this one, actually, you can't remove the doors to. on. So, you know, most of the paranormals, you can take these doors off. This one is special or something. Mm -hmm. So these doors don't come off. 
But I love this tortoise cell. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that up at the top. Yeah. That's really cool right there. And this is like a shiny, I would call this a black chrome. Not really gunmetal per se. I think this is black chrome. I, their gunmetal is kind of that black chrome type thing. The other weird feature that this has um, that some people wouldn't know about. Um, you know how most mods are five click on, five click off? Okay. Well, if you have kids or something and you don't want them to be able to fire your mod, this one you can change how you lock and unlock the device. So you don't have to use just the fire button. You can use the select button, the up button, the down button. So you can hit like fire, fire, down, up, select and it'll unlock so you can choose whatever buttons using the eScribe software obviously which buttons you want to choose to unlock this thing which i think is pretty cool so you can lock so, this and then nobody can fire it so dolores is asking how the batteries go in and out how the batteries okay on the paranormal or the yeah. okay paranormal it actually has a decent battery door on this thing let me show y'all real quick bill cam so this battery door is a slider, a slider flipper, lost fate. This slides and it's got a spring and it pops right open. This battery door is actually pretty darn solid. And then it has little connectors back here in the back. But when you push this down, you have to really push down and slide it over. I haven't had any problems with this battery door sliding open on me. And see right now it's locked. So if I just push anything, it's gonna it's gonna show up red and it's still locked. You got to push the exact right sequence or it won't unlock. So nobody can fire this thing. Like man, I can't I, I, I can't fire it. <laughs> you can lock yourself out of your mod. Well, you technically could lock yourself out of your mod, but you can always go into eScribe and fix it. You know, if you forgot what your code was, you could go in there and fix it. No big deal. Or look at look at what it was. You know, you download your settings from your mod, and it'll tell you what it wa was. Excuse me. But um, yeah, this replay feature. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can remember the code. There we go. It's already in replay mode. So see, it says replay playing. Um, I know for a fact that if you're not using a temperature sense wire like nickel or uh, stainless steel or titanium then it will not the replay feature will not work um i even tried to trick it i put a 0.10 ohm coil on there thinking oh it's gonna think it's a temperature because it's such a low ohm but no it will not that it basically when you when you fire it it'll ask you do you want to save the puff um and if you save that puff then it'll go into play mode it'll start redoing that and what's so cool about that um uh, thanks storm so what's so cool about that is when you go into replay mode it'll constantly give you the same vape whether it it knew that the ohms go so far on this particular coil at whatever temperature and when you start to run out of liquid instead of it just cutting off it just it starts backing the vape down backing it down backing it down until you got nothing but it doesn't burn your wicks it's it's like a a easy way of temp control if you you know it, it's like an easy temp control because once you set your parameters in there and you have it replaying that it just it just works you know if it starts to fire weak to put liquid on there and that's it you're done i mean it's really simple yeah have you been able to get that to drive to actually take a get a dry hit no um what's happened was because i had it on that 502 and what's happened was as it started to run dry on liquid i could feel it like just it, it's almost like it cuts down the watts more and more and more until it's gone yes yeah, speeds back hey, to million. Million. bot is broke oh man how aries you brought my boat no you you bought my boat what the heck did i just say <laughs> you broke my bot aries I think it's because Aries is just wearing it out, wearing it out. Yeah, see, it's still working. Bot's not broke. It's just making y'all lose over and over again. <laughs> I see that limit setting has actually worked now, so now everybody's losing money on it. Awesome. Look at how many people can lose. Oh, look, somebody finally won. And there you go. You finally won. 
Speed, how do I get a gold edition G class? Oh my goodness. Did y'all not see that? Was Speed even here? No, I saw was... I saw I saw saw it that one time. You saw this? <laughs> Swing! <laughs> And you still got that in the box? I do. I have not even used this. Um, Why not? Because it's a gold G class. Uh, that I have no idea how to get one over there without paying the sixty pounds. Yeah, that sucks. Shipping over there is like, man, it's so expensive. Um, we're gonna, you know, and I'm actually gonna make a standard plain Jane coil to go in this 502. It's actually really not that hard to coil and wick, um, but I want to use it on the paranormal, so we're going to do exactly, that. Exactly, Aries. He's already broken the seal on the box. He's taken it out of the plastic. He should why, be using why is the it damn still thing. in the box? I don't want to scratch it up. It's, it's well, you know. But the protective plastic on it that it comes with. And use the damn thing. What protective plastic? The saran wrap? Uh, uh... No, 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 no. Okay, get get that box back out. Okay. Box is back out. Yeah. Yeah. Take the mod out. Lift out the bottom of the box. Where? This? Should be in there. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. These are pieces of plastic that cover up this and. This. Well, yeah, but that's not going to keep it from getting scratched here or you know other places. Don't drop it. I I under <laughs> thanks Dolores elitist. I, it's okay. I may use it. I just don't want to use it right now. Um, that's all. Uh. Oh, the box the paranormal comes in. Look at this thing. This is um. This is oh, I slick. I love those paranormal boxes. Yeah, this is this is like a jewelry box. It's pretty nice. You can't. It's so dark in there. You can't even see the. You can't even see it. There's a hole right here where the mod was. That's too dark. Wow. But yeah, it's a really nice box. This is like a jewelry box. Um, T class is where it's at. You mean this vaping Smurf, the T class? Wee! This is the one I won in the waffle. I love oh. how much brighter this is compared to the. Look, let's do the G class. There's a oh, difference no. in the light. <laughs> if you want to talk about a bright, bright T class, let me grab that here. Oh, look at that! Red, white, and red, silver, and blue. <laughs> yeah, red, silver, and blue. <laughs> so let's take this 502 apart. I did want to show y'all. Um, the way this is built, I'd hate to take all this part again, but when you get this, this 510 pin right here actually has another Allen screw right here in the center that you have to take out to make it squonkable. If you leave that in, you cannot squonk with it. I kept and, going, why can't I squonk? Because I did, I couldn't see the pin because I'm half blind. And scoop like, up. Yep. Grannis is calling you a wuss. A wuss? Why am I a yeah. wuss? Hey, just because their mod's all scratched up. You won't. No, if their mods aren't scratched up, they don't have to take <laughs> care of them. <laughs> and they well, use them. I, uh, oh, look. Jazzy's got 12, mo 12 more spots. He's got a waffle going on right now. I'm not ignoring anybody, Aries. I just didn't see it. I apologize. So this 502, um, let's get down to the build deck and all that. It, and I've watched, I watched Jay Hayes, you know, put up the authentic versus the clone and um, this one is obviously a lot more shiny than the authentic uh, I may end up getting authentic I didn't know how much I would like this that's the one good thing about clones once you get to try this and you can see what the RDA is like then you would know whether or not you want to buy the authentic I, like I said I was gonna buy one but they were sold out when I tried to get one I was like that and they, he only made a thousand of them they're gonna they aren't planning on making more oh okay well there you go and Pat, you ought to, I mean, if you're buying other mods, you should know what import tax is on your other mods. It should be the same thing. So as far as the build deck goes, this and the authentic are very similar besides this hole being a little bit bigger on the authentic and this screw that they give you on the top of this one is crap pretty much. I mean, 
it's a grub screw but the authentic has a phillips screw that actually goes down way down in there and is, is a lot better well, I know it, that they yeah. have a peak insulator. I don't know what this is in here. It feels like a piece of plastic, but uh, that just looks bad. Yeah, the uh, the original comes with the grub screw and a Phillips head. You exactly. Can swap them right. So I have only a grub screw, so that's what I have to use. Um, Thank you. Let me get a. Uh, and I, I love they give you the little Jamie's card and everything. They're like, hey, check it out. <laughs> nice. Right. Okay, jammies. So then we have this. I think this is for this right here. It is. So um, I have the other Allen wrench buried down in this box here. Along with some of the screws that it comes with, which are basically replacement screws for the build deck itself. Um, it doesn't have as many O-rings as the Authentic has by any means. So you know you gotta you gotta weigh it you know was it 125 versus ten dollars um, if you do plan on buying an authentic then I mean and you want to see how it vapes I would recommend trying a clone just to see if you like it if you like it by all means go buy the real one um, hell yeah but uh well at, at this point I don't know that yours I, I don't think he still has any for sale so I don't really? know if you're going to be able to get yeah, it. Yeah, well, okay, this is late to the game. Well, there you go. Late to the game once again. So, you know, clone... Clone's now the clone, to do for right now. The clone just came out not that long ago. Oh, really? I, I don't know. So here's a stainless steel. Yeah. 25 gauge is what I'm going to be using tonight. And we're just going to take the coil master and just wrap a coil and put a vertical coil on this thing and call it done. That's what we're going to do. Um... I did I, last time I used like 10 wraps which was a little bit too high of an ohm so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go a little bit lower with the wraps this time I want a lower ohm so I can really push some power out of this thing so Munchkin mentioned some bad news there she's only got enough for one more drink and Munchkin I can only say this if you're drinking the cock just make sure it's a stiff one <laughs> stiff drink yep so let me see if I can get this better on camera here so yeah, I'm just gonna make a standard vertical coil, and I'm gonna space the coils so that it, uh, you know, it's it wicks better, more flavor, I think. So three, four, five, six wraps or so, something like that. Let's do seven just for the heck of it. I can't see a thing without my goggles. Let's put those on, and then I'll count the wraps. Cause I have no idea how many I just did, really. So I'm just going to take my fingernail and grab this first coil and slide this along. I do think Jay Hayes did a great job on the, the authentic one, two, three, four, five, six, technically seven wraps here. Then I just push them all back together and now there's space, which I know y'all can't see where the darn because the camera won't focus on it, but you know, such is life. I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter while I don't have to deal with that much wire. And we're going to make one more. I'm going to dual coil it. All right, Jazzy, what are you selling now? I, I keep hearing, hearing comments. He's got a waffle lot going, I do believe. Ah, and he, said, he just said he got, he's got a black Cerakote original. I don't know if that's a 502 or something else. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the same amount of wraps. We're in good shape. I thought the other one was six. No, I thought I was doing six, but I actually did. I went ahead and did one more wrap because I didn't want to. I didn't want to have them. I don't want it too low of an ohm. Well, if I can keep stuff still here, let's uh, let's bring up this middle screw. I mean, there's a there's a certain quality you get out of getting you know an authentic you can tell the difference between what a clone feels like and an authentic I mean this isn't bad uh, he is cute to I, I well I mean the screws themselves you can see that his screws on the real authentic are way better than this but um, I mean I do like the way it vapes I gotta admit that yeah. and that was at a higher <laughs> ohm though 
See, this is going to be a royal pain in my ass. So hand. Jazzy, Jazzy did manage to find a black Cerakoted original 502. I didn't really? know you could get black Cerakoted, though. I did not know that either. That's interesting. And for uh, for those wondering, Scuba is building on the clone. Yeah, definitely the clone. This is not a real 502. Do not adjust in, your TV set. And in case you're wondering, if I remember correctly, um, Jay Hayes is not upset about the clone. He actually took it pretty good and sort of as a compliment. He took it okay, but I mean, he did go out there and bust the bejesus out of it on camera. Um, well, was that yeah. fine? I can't blame him for doing that. And the main thing is I want to make sure when I trap this coil that it's nice and straight. I don't want it like all off to the side or anything. See, it's not that hard to throw a coil in here. It really isn't. And you can go ahead and snap off the spare on the on the edge here. Once you get it placed about where you want it, which that's pretty oh. good right there. I'm going to go ahead and chop off the extra as close as I can. You don't want this coming out and touching anything, even though this is the ground, so it doesn't matter. And apparently you can buy the black and gold uh, 502s now. Black I did not know that. Black and gold 502s. That yeah. comes. See, now he's, now he's like, hey, you can go get this and this and this. Thanks, Jazzy. Hey, Scuba, don't you want to spend no. some money? <laughs> that was Saint something something. Oh, okay. I watched Jay's rant that I, I apparently missed somehow, but he was doing a rant on the postman. That was freaking hilarious, dude. I, I I thought I had a decent rant, but man, he got me beat on that one, dude. He was. Oh no! It was he, he freaking can, awesome. He can really go off. Yeah. I try to keep. You know, I try to avoid the drama and stuff. I don't think on that show he was worried about the drama at all. <laughs> um, which, that's fine. Oh, no. you The the 502 is actually squelks really well. Yeah. Um, that's the reason why you don't want to take it apart. Because if you take it apart, you can th get things not going back together well. And once it's if it's broke or you lose pieces, you're done. I'll show y'all how this squonks here in a minute. Oh, if I wouldn't have knocked that off, that gummit. Thanks, James. Good to be back. Glad. Oh God, I'm so glad to be home. I bet, man. You was gone for a while. Yeah, I got to turn around and leave again about a week ago. That gum, man. Stay at home for a minute. I wish. I'm glad I have this plus tab turned off right now because right now this is being a pain to get the screw in there oh my god I just dropped the screw on the floor <laughs> do you know how hard that's going to be to find you have a I, magnet uh, yeah but not handy oh my god I mean I can grab another screw I guess out of the box because that is going to be very hard to find so I'm looking right now and I see no screw. And this at carpet. least it's not a at least it's not a small grub screw. You'll never find that. Oh yeah, that would be like impossible. <clears throat> yeah, this thing is missing now. Hey, well, it's okay. I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna get another screw. All right, let's grab one of these out of here, and hopefully I don't drop this one too. I was gonna say at the rate you're going, you're gonna run out of screws. <laughs> It's possible. No, it's okay. I'll just, I'm going to use another one. I'm going to make sure this screw fits first before I even go any further. That gum. The screw does fit. Okay, good. I did this the other day with zero issue. Today, issue. Hey, uh, Pat, I don't know what you're referring to. There we go. Demilla, with uh, with the five hundred two, it you. Uh, you can put, you can get the wire in there without it hitting, and that's not, not much of a problem. 
Yeah, that's not and, a problem. I'm just I'm just having a problem. If I tighten and, down this top one, which I'm about to do now, it's going to cause me a lot less issues. And that's uh, the clamps on it. They're pretty solid. I don't think you're going to have to worry, worry about them bending or anything. No, yeah, they're okay. They're they're pretty. They're actually thicker than it, the authentic. I was gonna say the authentic. The, the authentic's pretty good. Yeah. Did I miss the hole altogether? Jeez. I tell you. Are what, you still man. having problems putting things in the hole? I, I am, man. I can't. Don't drop and lose the screw. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose this screw. The problem is when I go to put the screw in, my fat fingers push the bar out of the way. <laughs> Pat, if you send me a message on Facebook, it's not showing up. Okay, round six. Um, see, my fingers are so big. I can't. All right. There we go. I think I got it now. Got it. Now let's Pat, I don't. The coil. I haven't used Messenger in years. I don't know how you even have me on there. All right, there we go. Let's take this one and cut it. This should fire pretty even right off the bat, mainly because it's a space coil. But it's going to leak. I'm going to cut that a little closer. It shouldn't leak. I haven't really had any issues with that. The only, only leaking issue I've had is because if I overfill it and turn it sideways or something but yeah these are pretty good about not leaking i mean that's hey, the Shockey. way he designed this thing well they're authentic anyway this this one you know who knows what are we on at 0.19 is what i'm showing right now not bad so let's no, see. Not. i wanted to I'm get to be right around that range there we go we already got nice color going on on the wires and i'm gonna have to even these up i know that looks crazy right now but they're firing evenly. I just got to even up the the distance they are from the base and everything. Let's turn this off. I'm going to bring this left one up a little bit so it matches the other side. Let's see if that looks about right. That yeah, looks pretty close there. It's close enough for government work. Now all I need is to get some cotton and put in there. And, you know, a lot of people have problems wicking this. It's actually not that bad. As long as you have the coils up a little bit higher and then you pull it down through. Um, I know Jay, I think Jay showed a method of using dental floss to pull it down through there, which is an ingenious mm -hmm. idea. But um, I haven't had to do that. I think it would make it easier. I, it's, it's not hard to wick. It's just a little bit time consuming. Yeah. It depends on how much wick you're trying to get down in there. <laughs> no, Delars, you can actually, you can do this as verticals or you can do this horizontal. So you can put yeah. coils in multiple ways. Yeah, you can do horizontal. I just prefer was, doing vertical on this. It was primarily designed to be a vertical, um, but it, it'll do horizontal. And I just watched one of Jay's uh, reviews today, and he did he did a horizontal build up, build on it. Nice. I have not seen that video yet. I didn't even, I didn't recognize, I was like, what the hell is he building on? And it was, um, it was the 502, but he did, did a uh, horizontal build. I should have got that in a little bit further. You want to get this front end really pointy so you can get enough grab on the bottom of it. And then you can just pull this right through. There we go. Which is what I'm going to do. Hopefully so you're pulling your wick through the hole. The yeah, I'm pulling the wick through the hole without <laughs> messing up the coil, hopefully. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to cut a good bit of this off so I don't have all that nasty part. And Munchkin, that's why I don't give Scuba a bad time on Friday nights. Why is that? Because <laughs> I do it to myself? No. If I oh. say something and you don't normally really catch it. Oh, okay. 
All right, that side's in. Let's do the other side. And we're definitely going to try out the replay feature on the DNA 250. Everybody was giving me hell for not having a DNA 250 and, you know, hey, how do you like it? What's going on with it? And, I mean, I haven't had it really long enough to go, hey, you know, I love it. Absolutely. Um, I do like the replay feature. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I definitely need to play with it some more before I make my final decision on this thing. It could be, you know... Yeah, I'm tempted to buy. Nightmare. I'm tempted to buy one of those paranormals. I was looking at it today. It's a nice mod. I ain't gonna lie. It's a nice mod. I always cut mine down nice and low. Um, you're wicking. You're when you squonk this thing, it's gonna come out out of these two holes at the top anyway, and it's just gonna saturate these wicks. So I just kind of keep them fluffed out up there at the top, just like that. Now, as far as juice goes, I got a ton of Nilla nuts, and that's about all I got. But, you know, better that than some juice I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Plus, that's what's already in my squonker. So that's what we're going to use on this for right now. I think the perfect choice would be a Nilla nuts. Though. There you go. Let's just go with that. Now, I can't squonk it on the paranormal, but... Um, I do have a, a squonker set up with this juice, so we're in good shape. What's that say? Low what? Low resistance. No, you didn't. It's actually showing a point two something right now. This mod won't even fire it. Okay, well. Or that... It should... Maybe your batteries are low. It probably is. I haven't changed the batteries in my hey, plus yard bird. in forever. What's up, Yardbird? I know that this paranormal is not going to give me any hell about it. It's not going to, it's first it's going to ask me right off the bat, is this a new resistance? Is this new coil? Blah, blah, blah. It asks you all kinds of crap. Hey, Higgy, how's it going? Look, see right there, it asks you, hey, is this resistance 0.2, blah, 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 0.21? You just tell it yes. And Man, then bright. it's set to replay. Yeah, it is bright. Um, and now it's asking me to save Puff already. Wow, look at that. It's already firing really good i love the way the vapor's coming off look how foggy that's looking yeah jazzy jazzy you should have messaged me and said you had one of those to give up i would have bought it from you i would have paid twice as much as what jazzy you know that's a weird was, thing he just he, he comes out and says when he you know hey i'm ready to get but he don't do it at the right time when we're watching yeah, i know, I know. <laughs> It's like Jazzy, you know. So now it's asking me, do I want to save the puff right there in that middle square? I know y'all can barely see that. But it's asking me, do I want to save? There it is, save puff. So once you get the perfect vape the way you like it, you tell it save puff, and then it goes into replay mode. So you can keep changing your wattages and stuff around until you get that perfect vape. Then you hit save puff, and then it'll just constantly keep doing that, that for you. So let's go. Back to the main cam, and we're going to vape this and see how well this 502 tastes right now. Or I'll call it a 205, just like Jay did. He said he called this a 205. Scuba, i got a question for you. So it's a small dual 18650 made by J-Bo. Do you know what what the name of that mod would be? A small dual 18650 by J-Bo. The, I can't think of, I can't think yeah, of the Noisy Cricket? Is that made by J-Bo? I don't think it is. Um, no, J-Bo. I mean, these are, these are J-Bo or Wismec or whatever, these little RX-23s. I don't know which one. Um, well, which there's one also, I think, they, I think they've also got a Gen 3, but yeah. I've only heard of Jabo with Wismic. Right, exactly. The new Gen X3, very possible. I know a buddy that's got a Gen X3, and his won't fire. There's something wrong with it. Or it'll say, no atomizer, no atomizer all the time. Now, I didn't get a chance oh, to look at it, but he was having that issue. Oh, i got to tell it, save puff. Hold on, because that's more than enough now it says playing in bright green i know y'all can't see that 
but it does. And now get that color screen. Take that thing so it, the cotton just goes completely white and there's no vapor left. Okay. And see, and see if you get a dry hit. Well, I wanted to get the cotton broke in good first. Right now it's almost dry just because it was so... I will vape it until it turns completely dry. But I want to get it, you know, where it tastes good. It's brand new cotton. You just got to soak it a couple times. All right, now we're good. Uh, that's that cheap cotton you use. Muji cotton? Okay, cheap. <laughs> Wow, that thing is hitting hard, dude. Now, I mean, it's it vapes good enough to where I could honestly say, you know what, I'd buy the authentic. I would. Um, it's a damn good, damn good hitting RDA. I like the design of it too. I like the, you know, I know that the the authentic looks a little different than the clone, but this gives you a basic idea. That's that's what I was going. Just a basic idea. No, it looks about the same. Is that stainless? Because it looks gold on here. No, it's stainless. It's, it's my lighting. Oh, okay. I've got a yellow light on. And that's an authentic. Yep. Look at you with the authentic. I've shown it to you before. I. There you go. I've probably seen it. I just tried to look away because <laughs> I didn't have one. Yeah, see? And yours... Wow. I don't know. Yours doesn't look as shiny. Well, I it's not supposed to be shiny, but mine doesn't look any shinier than yours. Now, granted, yeah. this isn't clean, so that may be why. Oh, mine's not clean either. God base. Speed has an authentic 502. This is the clone 502 that I'm vaping right now. So, there you go. <clears throat> and I've got to rebuild mine. So we're going to see, I probably should have turned the wattage down. This is a little hot at 90. Um, I had it really? at 90 before because uh, the ohms were different. Um, I'm used to around a 0.21, around 75-ish. Let me change the wattage down just a little bit. Oh, why do I get the feeling I've got a lost vape coming next week? <laughs> you know you got the feeling. Well, um, I think you'll really like the replay feature really like that that's pretty cool damn Aries you're just breaking the bank yeah but he lost a lot of times that's it right there okay I'm gonna save that puff so now it's gonna vape this way every time until I run out of juice so we're just gonna keep vaping this keep vaping this until it runs out uh, of juice until you run out of juice um, or until you take the RDA off or change out the batteries because I, I, if I remember correctly, if you put juice back on it, it, it just keeps on going. Yeah, if I put juice back on it, but I mean, what will happen is you'll start to see my vapor production go down, down, down. It, it's not going to burn my cotton up. Storm, I know that, but I want, I just want munch, or I want uh, scuba to, to, to do it anyways. Uh. And Munchkin, I'm already on the VA site, and I've got a couple picked up. But I've got to I've got to make sure that they're still there when I'm ready to buy. Mm. What's BS, Jazzy? What What's BS? I don't even know what we're talking about now. BS <laughs> BS is bullshit. I know I know, but what's BS? What <laughs> You still got to upgrade yours to Millen? Yeah, that's the first thing I did. I went. This has the newest update, don't I? Do believe because when I hooked it to eScribe, it was like, no, there ain't nothing else. You're good to go. So. Well, and if you got a 75C, yeah, you want to. If unless they changed no. it, you need the you need it's to utilize the international. I know, but oh. if you're upgrading and you want and you want that feature on an existing 75C, oh. you've got to use the international version. Gotcha, gotcha. They haven't made it public for the U.S. version yet. I got gotcha. you. Right now, it's still vaping strong. Mm, that is damn good right there, man. Damn good. I, you know, I let a buddy try this while he was here. He was like, man, I'm really surprised at how good that thing hits. I was like, me too, dude. I have no idea why it tastes so good, but it does. That is What's fire. Up, I mean, now the batteries go pretty quick in it, but it's a single 18650. I do not like the battery door. I know you didn't see that, but the battery door is a pain. Screw on, screw off. Now, the... The juice bottle is pretty cool. The juice bottle is a half turn, well, a quarter turn, and the whole thing drops out. 
So it's pretty cool on the juice bottle, but the, the battery itself, mm, not so much. It's an unscrew and drop the battery out, pain in the ass. It does have lights that you can barely see right there. See right now I'm getting a blue light and then a little bit of an orange, which means I'm mid battery now. And then it'll Ooh. go straight to orange when it's dead battery. You, you've got the blue light special going. The blue light special. Oh, why am I vaping that? I'm going to keep vaping the the paranormal to try and get this thing dry. I'm going to try. It may take a minute. Uh, you should be able to suck that thing dry. See, this is a little bit restrictive of a hit. I haven't got the airflow trick down on this yet. Um, I know there's a trick of way to set this up. That's pretty good there. I want y'all to see that this cotton is turning white. Very white. <laughs> and it's still hitting good. Um, it hasn't got to the dry section yet. Um, got base. I'm glad you brought up the Kinsey. It is a juice hog. What you have to do is turn the juice flow down on the Kinsey. Um, that's what I found on it. See how my juice flow is? Do not leave the juice flow all the way open. You want to turn it down to maybe a quarter, and you still won't get any dry hits, but it'll still vape fantastic. And it's going to save you a hell of a lot of juice, because if you have if you have that thing all the way open, it's going to freaking just blow through juice. I've got to finish a whole pack of cigs in two days, going on three. <laughs> Yes, got base. If if you have to smoke a cigarette, man, then that's what you got to do. I don't look on, down on anybody for dual using. Um, there, I don't know why there's vapors out there that look down on people because they dual use. You know what? If if you're vaping at all, that's one less cigarette you may have had that day. Um, so good yeah, for you. You, you got to do what you got to do. Right. You got to do what you got to do. You know. Um, and you, you may eventually get to the point where all you do is, is vape, which is great. But it tastes so good. <laughs> it does taste good. I mean, um, what's a good RTA nowadays that isn't hard to wick? Um, the Kinsey, uh, if you're not trying to spend a lot of money, I do like the Juggernaut. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot more expensive. Um, I, I, de I highly recommend the Kinsey. This actually vapes really damn good. As long as you keep the juice flow turned down on it, it's not going to be as much of a juice hog as some of the other RTAs out there. The Boris V2, I still love that one. Um, it's not that hard to wick that thing. It may take you a couple tries. If you go back and watch one of my older videos of me uh, wicking the Boris V2, you should be good to go. Um, the Wake the wake is great too. Um the, the only thing, it, it depends. If you like more airflow, Boreas. If you like less airflow, more of a restrictive, the Wake. No question. They both have excellent flavor. Excellent flavor. I, I mean, I, I can't put the Wake down at all. It's a great RTA. Great. And the Kinsey has even more airflow. And very easy to build. Easy to fill. Um, you got juice flow and airflow options on that. So... It's it's butter. The Kinsey's a postal steak. Yes, it is. It's uh, don't lie to the people. Well, it is not. It's not bullshit. What do you mean? The Boreas V2 is very easy to wick. It is um, not. Oh, did oh I say God. that out loud? It, it is not. Okay. Well, for okay, for me, it is very easy to wick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people have a problem with it. Steve, exactly. Um, you bring up a good point. You know, you say you smoke two weeks after you quit when you switch to vaping and it, it about killed you. It, you know, there's people that I know that vape and then maybe a year or two into vaping, they go, you know what, I'm going to try a cigarette. And when they hit that cigarette and see how bad it makes them cough and how sick they get from it, then they realize, you know what, smoking's not for me. Maybe that's what you need to push you over the edge to continue to vape because... If you don't smoke for a long time and you're vaping and then you go try a cigarette and then you notice how bad it is, you're like, holy crap. 
what was I doing all that time? I mean, I, I smoked a, I smoked 32 years. I know there's people in chat that smoked longer than I have, or did, I should say. But uh, I got lucky, you know, when, when I first started vaping, it wasn't, it was still in its infancy, so it didn't have, uh, it wasn't enough for me. So I went back to smoking. But um, now there's really no reason why you can't go strictly vaping. There's so many choices out there. You should there be able is. to find something that'll satisfy you. That's the, uh, that's the way I see it. There's got to be something that'll satisfy you. Is it exactly like a cigarette? No. Um, but that's the whole purpose. You're trying to get away from smoking and switch to vaping. That's what a lot of people that, that go to vaping want to stay with a cigarette flavored juice. I really don't think that's beneficial. If you're staying with tobacco, then you may still want a cigarette. So that's why there's so many fruit flavors. And if the FDA gets in here and screws our flavorings up, that's going to screw everything up. Yeah, very true. But, you know, it is something, though, that um, a lot of people do when they first start going to vaping is they go with that tobacco flavor to start with. Usually it doesn't last long, but that's where they start. <laughs> Pat's like, did I win a gold G class? <laughs> I don't think Jazzy has any gold G classes to auction off. I mean, maybe he will someday. I don't know. You never know what Jazzy will get. He's always got something good over there on his waffles. Y'all got to go check his uh, SX Mini Brotherhood group out on Facebook if you have not. So with sixty dollars for for a uh, lost bait paranormal two hundred, is that a good price? That's a, that's not the same thing I have now. I'm just saying. No, it's a. Lost Bait Paranormal 200 DNA 250. Right. Color. Oh, it's a 250C for $60? Yeah, I just wonder if that's a good price. That's more than a good price. That doesn't seem right. Unless somebody's just giving it away. That's that's a fantastic price. I think the cheapest I've seen them is 135 So, if that gives you an idea. Um... Uh, maybe even I mean they they sell in between one thirty five and two hundred dollars somewhere in that range. What was that code? Um, got base. The code is ten off. T e n o f f. Um, go use that coupon code at eZiggity. I can give you an affiliate link, but honestly, I'm not trying to make. I literally would probably make three cents off of you if you went and bought something off eZiggity, but. I do know that the e Siggity just got in the the own boy. Have you seen the own boy rage mods? I've seen it, but um, I haven't. Well, I've seen it in pictures, but I haven't actually seen it yet. Yeah, it's a dual eighteen six fifty. I, I do believe Jazzy owns one. Um, he has the red one. It's a dual eighteen six fifty squonk, and it, I love the way it's shaped. It looks like it would fit well in the hand. Um, hmm. And e Siggity just got them in. They have all colors but brushed stainless steel, um, <laughs> but you don't have, you don't mind helping. Um, let me see if I can get the code got base. Uh, I'll try real quick. Um, there's the affiliate panel. I'll give you a link that you can click on. Then you can go through and um, and buy whatever you want from there. How about that? But yeah, definitely use the coupon code 10 off. Even if you're using my affiliate link, um, you can still. Um, well, I've made $32, $33 off of eSiggity. How in the heck did I make that much? All right, here's the link, got base right there. If you click on that link, that should take you through my affiliate link. And then whatever you buy, I'll make three cents off of, five cents, I don't know. Um, You'll wait for another one. Demillion, I, I understand where you're coming from. I think that it looks it looks the way the way it's shaped, it looks like it would be cool. I honestly would have to hold one in my hand to know if I liked it. Um, and you know, I don't know. I don't know anybody that's got one close by. I can just go check it out. New tank for scuba woot woot. <laughs> um I'm getting YouTube notices way late. I've looked at all the mods and the 510 connection is not in the same place as a Rouleau. 
Uh, let's see what Pat just sent me. He sent me a picture and he wants to know what mod this is. I'm going to try to look it up real quick to see if I can figure out. Yeah, Demillion, that, that, uh, the mod that, in the boy, middle. that own boy link I think is the one I was thinking of. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks decent. And now, I don't know. Um, is Janet in chat? Damn it, Janet in there? I haven't. I don't think I've seen her yet. Okay. Let's see what Pat sent me. Do you know what mod? Oh, here's the pictures. Is that a Relo 2.3? That one's made different. Now, I have I have one of the original ones, but I don't know for sure if that's a 2.3. The buttons are definitely different on that one. Maybe that's the Gen 3. That's why it looks different. The one you have and the one I have, Pat, are completely different from each other. Um, they look similar. Like, this is the one I have, but if you look, my fire button and my up and down watts are like a rocker switch. You have individual buttons. And this it's centered, but you see how mine protrudes up. The one you have is flat, and I don't own that one. Um, you got yours in your hand, but you're not close. You're right, Daedalus. I'm not close. Sorry. <laughs> And Jamelin, I don't plan on getting in the Geek, the Geek Vape Zeus duel. Creed, I think yeah. I've, got, I've got the Geek Vape Zeus, which is probably a single coil. But I don't plan on getting the duel. Yeah, I saw on Facebook um, Janet. Janet's having a rough time. And, and to find out the way that she did, from what I saw, is terrible. Um... For those of y'all that don't know, uh, damn it, Janet found out that her sister and all the kids are now not not with us anymore. What? Yes. Um, I don't know all the details, but um, she found out on the news, which is ridiculous. Um. To find oh out God. something like that, see the news, and then you hear your sister's name come out over the the TV. You're like, "What the heck is going on?" Yeah. So, I hope I hope that Janet gets through this okay. I hope she she's doing better. Yeah, it's it's bad stuff. This was, and these were all gunshots. All gunshots. Oh um. I'm sure that when she comes around or when she's back, she will um, express to everyone what happened, um, if she chooses to. Um, how close was the plane crash? Uh, with that plane crash, are you talking about the C-310? The C-130? I'm sorry, C-130? That's in Savannah. That's about four hours from me, the Marine plane crash. Which is weird because that's what my son, the last text we got from my son, said he was on a C-130, and then a C-130 crashed in our state. And I was like, holy crap! Yeah, that, that, that one's about four hours. Um, it is very sad, Daedalus. Uh, man, I, I feel bad for Janet. Uh, and, and not just to plan. So now they don't have to just plan a funeral for just her sister, but all four of them. At the same time, um, that it sucks. It really sucks. I, I would, I would hate to be in something like that. That would be terrible. I forgot to keep vaping this. I gotta keep vaping this, or it'll never go dry. It looked dry. Did it not look dry? I mean, this thing is. This is what I'm talking about. Look how white those wicks are right now, and it's still vaping normal. Hmm. The one she was babysitting. I don't know, Demillon. I don't know. Um, go check Demillon. I mean, Demillon. Really, go check Damn it, Janet's Facebook page if you're one of her friends, and you'll see. Um, it's crazy. Oh, there were her grandbabies. Oh, okay. Oh, you heard about it on the news, Aries? Wow. See, and you found out pretty much the same way Janet did on the news. Um, that's crazy. 
to find something out like that. Okay, now it feels like it's backing off, but I guarantee you it's not going to let me burn my cotton. And I did not have to change the temperatures or anything on this. I just vaped it till I liked the way it vaped and hit save puff, and that's it. And now it's it's saying playing, and that's all it's doing. So, And it does show what wattage you have it set. I have it set at 75 watts, and it just shows your wattage, and you just keep on vaping it. You can, I can tell that it's backing down. I can tell. I, it's like you can still see the vapor production, but it's backing down, backing down. Is it getting cooler? Yes. Yeah, you've got her lady. Oh, yeah. she said her sister's husband didn't have her phone number. That's why they couldn't call. Yeah, that, that would make sense. So that's why she found out about it on the news instead of... Um, you know from the family itself you know because usually the news will hold it back we can't release the names blah 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 so um pat i do believe um if you're if you're interested in that pat i do believe they have a gofundme page set up already because they're going to have financial trouble for the funeral so um Go check that out. I don't know the link, or I would give it to you guys. Um, that That's, you know, hey, if y'all want to help her out, go for it. I know that, you know, Janet lives on a, um, a strict budget, and something like that to have to take care of takes a lot out of your pocket. This is almost not even vaping now. It, it's like... But no dry hair. No dry hit. No high, no dry hit. Thank you, uh, Jen. Take it down so you have no vapor coming out. See what happens. I'm trying. <laughs> it really tastes like I'm vaping dry cotton now. That is amazing. It tastes nasty. Let's take a look at it. Oh my literally... god! I want y'all to see this up close. That's that pretty is wild. some dry cotton. That's dry as it is about dry as it's gonna get. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's been burned. No, I don't think it's been burned at all. I wish I could pull this up, but it's in there pretty tight. I don't I think mean, it's been burned. You gotta there's, pull up. There's some there is some brown mark on there, but that could be the juice. I don't know. I'm going to put some juice on there and see if it tastes burnt whatsoever. But I normally would stop once I start tasting that it's uh, letting yeah. off like that. This time I did not because Speed wanted me to just take it all the way. No, and I don't know good, what temperature I have it set at. But but this is not, it's not really temperature control. It's, it's supposed not, to be controlling multiple things at the same time. I think it's more of a, you know, a limiter, you know, it, it keeps you from burning your cotton up when you, when you go low on juice. And I've, I've heard that if you, if you've got mixed coils with mixed metal, it'll still work, but I don't yes. know that for sure. Yes, that is true. If you, like, if you have stainless steel wrapped in nichrome or something, it'll still work. What about stainless and, and uh, campbell mix? Oh my God. No, no burnt taste at all it's vaping perfect again and it tastes exactly like it did before it ran out of juice thanks jen for posting the link there's a gofundme yeah. page if you guys want to help out i'm sure uh janet would very much appreciate it um she can't be here right now i'm sure because she's probably had her plate full right now but uh, yeah it sucks. and i I, I know I wouldn't be in the mood to be talking to a lot of people right now. No. Did I even put Coke in there? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I got another drink sitting out, but my drink is full, so I assume I, that can't all be liquor because I would die. <laughs> I'd be like, ah! Yeah, that would be terrible. So, did you get anything in, Speed? I know you've been gone for a while, so... I have not ordered anything in more than a month. 
Holy moly. All right, this is a let's write this day down. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Speed did not order anything. Um, I did pick up another drop while I was gone. Though. <laughs> that is awesome. Do you know how many people I see just, you know, I'll say something about the drop and they'll whip theirs out. They're like, I got a drop. It's wow, you got three of them. Holy moly. I, I knew you liked it, but I didn't know you like it that much. Um, this that, is a great little device to keep on you for those times where you can't break out your big <laughs> fog mod. I, I, that's what I think. It's really nice. I mean, I can I can use it in the hotel room. Actually, I use it everywhere except for uh, I've used it on the plane once. I won't do that again. I got away with it, but I don't really want to chance it. Right. Um, but I use it everywhere else except for in the well. I can't say that. I've even used it in the office at work. I've used it everywhere. Dolores, um, from what I've read in the comments, um, her sister had some some issues. They were going through a, a bad Thanks, state um, of just That's being depressed and no money and, and nothing to cover the bills and stuff. I think um, I, I, now this is all conjecture. I don't know for sure. I think that her sister shot all the kids and then killed herself um, oh, no. is what I think happened. Now, I don't know that 100%. Um, I would definitely let Janet confirm that, but I think that's what happened, um, which is terrible. This is what it says. My daughter was dealing with mental health issues, lost the battle, and took her life along with the three beautiful babies. Well, there you go. That See, that's what I got from that. Um, um, yeah. She killed the three babies and took her own life, which is horrific. Um, I don't know why, okay, for somebody in that state of mind, I can understand them taking their own life. Well, even taking your own life, no, but don't take the kids with you. That's crazy. Um, no. I mean, just... If the bills pile up and it gets that bad, hey, you know, ask for help. Ask for help. Usually somebody out there, you know, will help. I don't I want everybody, never, I don't want anybody to ever get in that position to where they feel like they need to take their life. That's crazy. It's crazy. My shop, my local shop, mm -hmm. don't even have coils for these. They're sold out. So if I want to get coils for my drop, I'm going to have to order them online because they're sold out. Uh, yeah, I, every time I go up there, nope, sold out, nope, sold out. So I can't get any, which sucks. I picked up um, this mod from Raging Vapors, actually. Uh, and, and the Ghoul. The Ghoul, you know, I haven't had a lot of time to play with the Ghoul. But the Ghoul for a single core RT, uh, RD, RDA is freaking really good i like the way they got the airflow set up on that thing and single coil man this is about as good as they come as far as the rda goes it's just really good i have not had time to sit down i and i told y'all i was but i haven't had time yet to sit down i'm going to go through this box that richard sent I have more stuff to give away. There was only like a couple slots left that y'all could have won something. So I'm going to put those in along with what's left in the box and make a new list because I need to make a new list where y'all will be able to pick instead of like just three numbers like three, five, and nine or something. You'll be able to pick all ten, you know, and it'll be a brand new list and y'all be able to, you know, not have to go through it. And I, and I know there's some drip tips in there. Um, I have not tried, well, the Mii Pod. Have I tried the Mii Pod? I think I tried it, Tetley, but I don't own one. Um, I was just kind of a big fan of the Janet's in here. Oh, hey, Janet. Janet, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, we were just talking about you. I don't mean to, I don't mean to open a wound or anything, but we were just talking about you. I hope you're doing good, and um, prayers go out to you and your family. I'm sorry for your loss. Yes. Terrible news, Janet. I'm really sorry to hear that. Richard, there's still a good bit of stuff left. 
Um, I have, I know I got a lot of drip tips left, and I have like three or four more hardware things in there. I'm <laughs> going through the boxes like crazy. Oh, yeah, you get that hardware going. I'm Ooh, I still have an authentic Snapdragon to give away. Authentic Snapdragon. This was one in the auction. This is an authentic Snapdragon that, that Higgy did on the auction. So I still have this to give away. VLS mod. I have a moonshot. I have 454 big block clone atomizer dealing me finger jigger. Um, another one of these Le Magisters RDA. And I got a whole bag that's full of drip tips and stuff. Now, these are just the tip drip tips, so um, I'm going to have to, what I'll do is I'll just put drip tip on there, and then I'll let y'all pick. I'll show you the drip tips and let you pick the one that you want, because for me to separate them and then you go, oh, well, I didn't want orange, I wanted green or whatever, you know, that would be too much. So I'll just post them all, and some of them are 510, and some of them are probably goon style. I don't even know. I can't see through all this. But they're all in this bag, so we'll go through that. What is this? This is an Aeolus V2 right there. Still brand new. And then we got one more. This is Stellaire V3. And then the moonshot I showed you. And that's that's pretty much what's in the box right now. So I still have more stuff to give away. Um, how do we sign up? You don't need to sign up, Got Base. I just got to redo my giveaway list to where y'all can donate it back to the auction <laughs> hickey no hickey see richard is waiting for that auction um uh, janet i know i would hate to find out on the news like that that's crazy um just send you the purple one stina <laughs> i don't even know what colors are in there uh that's the way to go yeah i think so too richard you know i'll just put drip tip on the winners list and if you win a drip tip, I'll show you all of them, and you can just pick which one you want. How about that? Um, I'd hate, you know, and then I'll let you know, hey, this is a 510. Make sure you know it's a 510 drip tip, because I don't want you to get one and go, oh, it won't work. Yep, I'll, I will let you know for sure. I will have that set up by Friday, next Friday for sure. I got to um, I gotta redo the list. And that's going to take me a minute to do and I just hadn't had time to do it. I'll try to do it this weekend. I'll go through that whole box and I'll just make a whole nother list because the Snapdragon and stuff like that, I'm sure people still want to win. That's an authentic Snapdragon. That's a great, great RDA. So um, it's obviously way less airflow than some of these big honker ones that we got now, but it's still a great RDA. I think I've still got Snapdragon. You got a Snapdragon? Yeah, those are good. So. Um, I got mine buried somewhere on one of my mods, and um, there was a mod I was thinking about about a week ago, and I can't, what tips fit on the Boris V2? I think the Boris V2 has a standard 810 connector, so any goon style drip tip should fit on the Boris V2. I don't even see my Boris right now, or I would show you, I had the Boris on one of my mods, and Right now I'm looking around and don't see it. Oh, here's a Boreas. Yep. The Boreas takes a standard Goon Style 810 drip tip. Yep, there it is. There's the Goon Style. This is on the Boreas. So any any Goon Style drip tip, 810 drip tip, will fit on the Boreas. What is the VLS? Let's find out, shall we? Because I don't even remember. That is a Goon Style 810 as well. Oh, the VLS is a mech mod, I do believe, with a bunch of no, different... No, they're referring to... I think they're referring to this. This is what's in the VLS box. Oh, that VLS, okay. Mm -hmm. This is a mech mod with different tubes, so you can use different size batteries. Now, this came out way before 21700s and stuff, so... Oh, I almost dropped it, but I caught it. This actually is a very thick tube. I don't know if y'all can see that this is a very yeah. thick stainless steel tube. Now, is that one of the new ones? 
I doubt it. I mean, this came from Higgy's auction. VLS? No, this has been around for a while. No, no, no. I mean, is it is it a new device or is it a used one? It's uh, no, it's brand new. It's brand new. Okay. So it um that whoever wins that it's brand new. When you get it, it'll still be brand new. I'm not touching it. So. And Jen, questions out. When's the auction this year? Yeah, when is the auction this year? <coughs> I'm not going to be doing what I did last year. <laughs> Spending all kinds of mid June. Uh, don't mess it up. I won't mess it up. Why would I do that? I'm not even going to touch it. It's just going to sit there in the box, you know, all in all its glory right there until and somebody I, wins it. I got to tell you, I just placed an order. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he was just bragging about not spending any money, and he just did. I didn't brag. I just said I hadn't bought anything in over a month. I've been oh. too busy to go shopping. There you go. But I've got I've got the par paranormal on the way. Nice, nice. I like the paranormal. This is um, I, you know, I I have the original theory on, which is actually right here. These look very very similar to each other. Because, number one, they're both made by Lostvate, but the one of them's a DNA 75, and then this one's a 250, so that's the big difference. But I, that replay feature is freaking really good. I like that. I've got a paranormal here somewhere. I just don't remember where I put it. Mm. Saint, um, this is what I would say. Nittle and Nuts better be good. You're waiting for yours to come. Um... If you like custard vapes, hands down, you're going to love it. As simple as that. Um, I It's it's my all-day vape. I've, oh, look at that thing. That is gorgeous. Wow. So that was the original Paranormal. That's so not this a 250C? Is a, Hell, it looks just yeah. like the one I'm holding. This is a 75C in parallel. Oh, okay. So they came out with another one later. Is the that battery was, uh, door the same? Series. Yeah. I'll be darned. They're exactly the same, except yeah. different chips. Wow. I'll be interested to know on if it's the same size or not. Well, Saint, you got two of the best flavors, I think, coming to you right now. If you got Nilla Nuts and Aries Ram, you're good to go. You have the fruit base covered and the custard base covered. You and just need Higgies, peanut butter buster. Yeah, Peanut Butter Buster, that's another really good one that Higgy makes. Um, if you like vaping peanut butter, hell, you don't even have to like If you like peanut butter, period, I would definitely recommend picking up some Peanut Butter Buster. Their Pegasus Tears is another great seller that, that Higgy's yep. has. Don't that forget to pick up well. that one. Um, check out, when you're on Higgy's site, Higgy site, make sure you check out all their signature <laughs> flavors because, I know I can't even talk tonight. Because all those flavors are really good. Aries Ram is better. Daedalus, hey, that's that's your opinion. That's fine. He's just messing with me, but that's fine. So has um, Aries Ram out, out surpassed Nilla Nuts now in sales? You don't like peanut butter. Um, has Aries Ram outpassed Nilla Nuts? I don't think it has. Um, hey, there's, any, there's a possibility, but I don't think it has. Um, you know, I thought Aries was going to do, you know, he was going to go by leader and leader of Aries Ram just to beat it, but I don't think that would have helped him much. He's got to have Pat, a lot more than one person to, to, to beat that. Pat, I appreciate that, but I have no idea why you're saying that. Yeah, he's just, he's being really nice and I, I don't know what I've done for, done for that. So, but thank you anyways. I appreciate that. Well, I mean, he's just being honest. Um, I think you, you know, you're 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 like me, where you actually care about the viewers and what they say and and helping them out. Unlike other channels that could give a crap less, they just want you to buy more crap. I'm um, just here to give you shit. That's the only reason I'm here. Well, you can give me shit anytime you want to, man. <laughs> you mean give me crap? Um, speed is a twat waffle. <laughs> There you go. There you go. You'll go buy two liters of Nilla Nuts so it stays in the lead. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there you go, got base. There you go. Um, it was too rich for an all-day vape. Daedalus, I agree with you. I like it every once in a while, but it's for me, it is too rich for an all-day. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on if you get, because you can get in your face, I trust you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I'm a twat waffle, too. I guess, well, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Just got to share the love. Wait till tomorrow night. I was missing posts from my school bait saying family. Wow. Wow. It, it, you know, it, it uh, <laughs> that's crazy. And I have two sixty five percent off coupon codes to give away the Hickey 6 tonight, which I did not do last week because I got behind on coupon codes. But I got them tonight. So we're going to do Same those idea. here. I know. Well, what happened was what ha happened was somehow I missed giving away two of them and I think they expired. So instead of me sending them, and I know Jen would fix it, but instead of me sending them an expired coupon, I went ahead and gave them the newer ones, which made me too short. So, and I didn't want to go, hey, I need two more coupons. So I just skipped a week so that I could do it this time. So we're good. You could not get away with Nilla Nuts. I don't know. Um, only a wuss would think. <laughs> Bill Hubbard, there's Asbestos himself. Only a, only yeah. a, <laughs> only a wuss. Bill, yeah, that's it. Just call me a wuss. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know what? Bill likes the sarin drop. When he told me that, I about fell out my damn chair. I was like, I cannot believe he, yeah, he tried this, and he's like, man, I really like it. I was like, dude, I don't know what it is. It's freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. I, he's, that sor the Soaring Drop, is it is awesome. I mean, he's got double barrels now, and I know he really likes double barrels. I mean, they're great mods. Uh, they really are. I mean, for what they are and the price, yeah. you can't really beat that. I mean, the, the quality on them things are awesome. Scorpiopio, I meant to ask you, which one did you get, the double barrel or the TAC-21? I was kind of curious about that. I know you've got the batteries for the TAC-21. You mix Nilla Nuts and Fluffer Mint? Wow. Fluffer nuts. <laughs> There's a new flavor, fluffer nuts. Okay, I uh, those little suckers come in handy. They do, Bill. They do. I mean, I I take mine out. I'll keep this one in my little coin pocket, and when I can't vape something, a boom. Um, by the coin way, pocket. you may have the most people sub to this channel. You may not have the most people, but you have the most loyal supporters. Um, I agree with that 100%, Pat. Um, I'm not trying to make a gabillion subscribers, um, but the people that do come watch me always come watch me, and I don't have haters in here and stuff like that. And I mean, I may eventually, but I got enough mods we, to take care of it. But we've got a fun little family, and I like it that way. We can keep I, an exactly, eye on what's going on, pay attention exactly. to it, and keep caught up. Nilla nuts with me. Hey, April, how you doing? Hey, what is this coin pocket? Coin pocket, you know the little. What do you mean coin pocket? The little triangle pocket in your pants. That's, that's not actually for for coins. Well, it's a watch pocket, but you know. It, it um and we can read chat. Um yeah uh, when yeah, when exactly. we can read the chat yeah at least we do read the chat we try to anyway um it's not that it's you know moving too fast but I'm usually running my mouth so much I miss it. <laughs> Yeah, subscribers are not, you know, I'm not here to, you know, make uh, bread and butter from freaking YouTube. That'll never happen. Um, yeah, you can start hating, Sane. If you want to start hating on me, go for it, bud. Hey, you got to have a hater, right? You don't even make it big until you got a hater or two or four or nine. <laughs> I say, you've already been nice in here, so you're no longer a hater. Now you, the best you can do is be a heckler. Lighter pocket? <laughs> No, it's a lighter pocket. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a small pocket, and I know the drop fits really good in there. <laughs> the paranormal, though. I mean, the, I was just the main reason I wanted this so bad is because it has that replay feature, and yep. you know the other ones don't. And I'm digging the replay feature. I really am. Um, I it works. I wanted to, I wanted to get the paranormal, but before I started traveling, they weren't out. So ah. Uh, do I have a question of the day? Me. I don't have a question of the day. Um, <laughs> a question of the day. <laughs> Shit. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I got I got I got a question. Yeah. What's the meaning of life and and Munchkin's age? The meaning of life and Munchkin's age. Oh, is that um was that 41? Is that the meaning of life? The answer to everything is 41 or something like that? Oh, I may have to hold off on that question for a couple more months then. Maybe I'm off yet. Oh, okay. Meaning of life is 42. Oh, 42. Damn, I can't even I can't even think straight. Okay. Ex <coughs> exactly, Janet. I think we've all been around long enough. Yeah, 42. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, like I watched Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or something. <laughs> uh, I know where y'all getting that from. But hey, yeah, but can, I'm just trying to help you advance time a little bit. So, how do you like the 502? I mean, you got uh, it authentic, so I need to change the build that I've got on it. Um, I haven't cared for it so far, but I've only got the one build. In it so far, I haven't played around with it a whole are lot. Are you running Canthal in there? Or are you running Temp Control or just uh, stainless steel? Oh, it's stainless and, steel. Uh, yeah, and I set it up as a squonker. Um. Oh, I didn't show y'all that. Doors. Let me show no. y'all after since I have modified this 502 to work because I know Jay was showing that it doesn't work as a squonker. It puts all the juice up and doesn't let it back down. So I'm going to put it on a squonker and show you that if you take that spring and ball bearing out, it does work. Um, I didn't show that. So here's the 502. I'm going to put that on this squonker right here. In forgetful red, um, the doors on my Spruza, the front door moves just maybe a sixteenth of an inch, if that. Um, but I've really got to, I've really got to play with it, get that to happen. I will put way too much juice in there. And it just sucked it back in, but it didn't suck it all back in, which is interesting. So how do you no like juice. that Aspire Squonker? You know, I like it. I do think it's, um, it, it pulled all the, look, the bottle's all the way out. It did suck it all, but it didn't get it all. Maybe if I can put some air back and it didn't suck it all back down, which is scary. I got juice coming out of the side of the damn RDA yeah. now. But it's not gonna. I mean, it's not gonna leak on you. Yeah, it's not gonna leak. Well, unless you take the cap all off. Over the mod. Unless right. you take the cap off. Yeah. Now it wouldn't have leaked if I did. You know, if I didn't take the cap off. But I wanted to suck it all back down into the bottle, and that was a little. That wasn't enough. I wanted it to. I wanted it to suck it all back down in the bottle, and I have. There's no blockage on it. It's sucking. Uh, it's not holding the air pressure in which is what it would do if you left that ball bearing in there but um it didn't suck it all back down now this this squonker i haven't checked out how so well it's you squonks, keep so. saying leaving the ball bearing in what ball bearing are you talking about all right on the 510 post on the the authentic if you take the actual 510 post out there's a spring that comes out and yep. there's a very small ball bearing in there yeah. all right the clone is the same way, but they didn't design it correctly. They didn't cut out the channels the way that they're supposed to be so that when you let off the bottle, it lets it, the juice flow back down. The ball okay. bearing actually comes down and stops the juice from coming out. So when you squeeze it, it fills it up and it never goes down. So you're screw, until you unscrew the atomizer to let air back in the bottle, it doesn't let it go back in. So. What, what I did on okay. the clone is take the spring out, take the, the ball bearing out, which I couldn't find. The, I, I guess I dropped the ball bearing. So now when I squeeze it, it does suck it back down in there, but it's not as sucking it in there as good as it should, uh, as from what I can see. But it's working. So, for those of you that have the 502, do not recommend you do the same thing. You don't need to do that. It's <laughs> just fine. Yeah, don't, yeah, if you have an authentic... Um, 502, do not take the 510 apart. Do not do that. The recurve. You know, Janet, I like the recurve. Um, I know Asbestos was saying that it was really good. I kind of have a hard time with it just because it's got Mike Vape's name on there. But other than that, I mean, it looks like it's a decent RDA. I may try it anyway. So we'll, we'll have to see. Maybe I'll get a recurve in the future. But right now, nah, not not on the top of the priority list. 
Oh, you got the feed link, Janet? Yeah, it vapes really good, doesn't it? I, I was surprised. Oh, my so goodness. Got Base just ordered two more 120s of Nilla. You hadn't even tried it yet, Got Base. I want you to try it first. Asbestos will tell you um, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> you know, if you can have a liter of 120s, you should just buy a liter. It comes with another 120. And it's yeah, it comes, it comes with another. Exactly. That's why it's good to order a liter from Higgy Sinks mm -hmm. because you get that plus 120 mil bottle. And the yeah. syringe, so you can just refill your bottle, which is freaking awesome. And the price per ml is pretty dang cheap. Yeah. Um, my buddy that came up from Savannah, not Savannah, good Lord, Valdosta, all their juice prices down there are skyrocket high. Really? He was like, yeah, dude, when I buy a 60 mil, it's like 45 bucks or something. I was like, holy crap, Holy dude, crap. That, yeah, I was like, man, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's your. Oh, well, he said I've tried it. This is all day vape. Well, there you go, got base. Um, there you go, bud. Awesome. If it's your all day vape, get yourself a, a liter next time. Do and I have the recurve? I do not have the recurve. I don't have the recurve yet either. Um, but like I said, it does look interesting. I'm always into getting. The only other one that I thought was really interesting. Have you seen the Loop RDA? I've heard of it. I haven't actually seen the it. The loop, the way the loop is designed, um, the deck is like a W, okay? It's, it goes down, then it comes oh. up to a straight point. The coils mount at an angle. The airflow comes in from one side and comes out the other side and loops around to the coil. And then on this side, it comes around and loops. That's why they call it the loop. It looked very interesting, and I almost bought that son of a gun, but I was like, I don't know. Um chicken i i know right i know <laughs> so but it looked interesting so but the recurve you know i think the recurve after when asbestos tries it and he likes it then i know it's good it's that simple i mean if he goes hey man this thing vapes you know I, i'm not a big fan of mike vapes either blah 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 or something then goes but i really like this rda then i know it's good because he's he's gonna be honest with me number one so if it sucked he would say don't even base, waste your time he, he would he would plain out say don't waste your time this sucks but he said he likes it so so munchkin's got a stiff cock this drink is a bit strong <laughs> jay hayes did a review on it. i have not seen jay hayes review on it um after watching it, jay either. hayes's rant I was really digging that. I actually have the link. Um, if y'all want to go watch this rant video, which is hilarious, um, his landlord or somebody comes by and they start talking about wet wires. It was yeah. freaking hilarious. Um, here's the link straight to that video if y'all want to watch it in a little bit. Um, but uh, Jay Hayes came on there, and when he rants, he rants. I, I thought I had good rants, man. He freaking... Dude goes at it and he was like shut the store down this is our time we're gonna we're gonna rant right now and he just went at it i think i think they actually locked the front door yeah they did they locked the front door yeah john q scuba has a show i don't um i'm not sure what day it it's, is it's a new show if you keep watching heard it, yeah, it's, it's new he, but without it without a co-host he doesn't do very well well, this is our pilot show um <laughs> we just started and um we're hoping we can get some viewers so we can you know continue to progress the show i do need to make a new intro um i need to include speed in it i think speed is a integral part of the show now and i do think he needs to be added to the intro i don't feel right about doing the same intro over and over again and he's not in there that's not that's not right with as much travel as I'm doing, you're okay not doing putting me in the intro. <laughs> and see, and you're humble like that, which I, you know, I appreciate that. But I feel bad that I haven't sat there and made an intro with you in there because you need to be in there, and you're just as good a part of this show as as oh. I am or anybody else. So that reminds me. Yes. Janet put in there about single squ single coil squonking, and. I've got one of these for you, Scuba, and I've got to send that over to you. I got it what? before I left on my last trip. What the heck is that? Oh, 
Oh, that's the B two K four version M five twelve. Oh wow! Look Is at there... all the tops for that thing. What the heck? Yeah, no, it's got a black. It's got a uh, <laughs> Siri. Shut up. All right. A blasted silver. I can't really say. Here comes... <laughs> shit, Siri, go away. <laughs> Anyways, I got one of these for you. I'm just here in the hopes to meet Mike Vapes. Bill is, Bill is hilarious. If you, I tell you what, if you ever come down this way, you got to meet Bill in person. He is freaking hilarious. He has a joke. Um, is Mike Vapes going to be a guest on my show next week? You know, Chris, I doubt that because he wouldn't talk to me in person, so I doubt he would do it on. Well, he might do it online, but yeah, he, would, he wouldn't talk to me in so, person. And I know so, he'll say, "Well, he didn't really try to talk." To Bull crap. Okay, Bull crap. I no. I'm, so I'm would not, you be okay if he was a guest on the show? I got no problem with it. Um, I I, I don't dislike Mike Vates because of that. I think that um. Uh, I, I, it's not that. It's not that. There's other reasons that you know I ha, I don't like some of the th things that he does, but um, he does put out good reviews, uh, and most of the time he's genuine with the people that he talks to. But then again, there's other times I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, Scooby, you never know who I can get as a guest. Oh, oh! You think you can get Mike Vapes in here? I tell you what, if you get Mike Vapes in here, you know Fagan's gonna come, Heavy Metal's gonna come, yeah. St. Vapes is gonna come. They're all gonna come in here and be watching. I just want you to know that. Even if only Mike came on the show, all of them will be here. Just so you know. Hmm. Maybe I should just invite all of them. Oh my God. We could have a vape effect. We okay. This is the problem. Because I went on their show. I don't know if you ever saw me when I actually did their show. No, no. Oh, my God. Okay, I went in their show, and I actually tried to bring up specific topics and actually have subjects to talk about. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to bull crap. So mm -hmm. people in chat were getting mad at me. Who is this guy? What the hell is he doing? I'm like, really? I actually was bringing up interesting conversation. And y'all are cutting me down? What the hell? So, yeah, they called me a country redneck back heel something. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they've never they never asked me to go back on the show again, which that's fine. You know, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm maybe not, we'll go down that path. I don't need to be on the show. I don't have to be. But so it is what it is. Their fans to, would, though, yeah, ideas, their though. fans, now, that's the thing that, you know, there's, the people that watch this show are grown adults, I do honestly believe that a lot of the people that watch their show are underage, and Niji, yeah, Niji yeah. watches that, I know Niji's over there, and they watch the show, um, you know as well as I do, there's a lot of people that watch that show over there that are not of age. There is, I guarantee that. But they don't care. And, you know, hey, that's their that's their calling, that's their business, whatever. I, I But number one, I don't want to start drama. I'm not here to start drama. I don't care what they do. They can do their own thing. They can have 8 million subscribers. I don't care. And I do my says own you thing. Need to go get your banjo. You, I, I need to go get the banjo? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can get, go play a banjo. Maybe I'll I'll get a million subscribers just for playing the banjo. I'll be a vaping banjo player. There we go. You do that, Demilla. Make you a drink. I have to give away these hickey codes before I forget. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm losing. I'm I'm getting can way you, behind here. A, hard, a hardware giveaway too. I don't have the thing set up. So we're gonna run I'm, this. For I'm gone for minutes. a few weeks, and you you like totally don't have anything set up anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um. So this is for, to win a 65% off coupon code to Higgy Sigs. So all you have to do is type exclamation point Higgy, and you will be entered to win. So y'all can't beat this deal with a stick. 
65% off at Higgy Sigs is freaking phenomenal. Um, I do recommend if you win this code, buy as much juice as possible. Whatever your wallet or your budget allows, buy a lot of juice, man. Use that code to get a leader. Its extreme. Yes. Get, get a, a leader. leader. Hell yeah, get a leader. Is there a guy that I can send e juice to to clone it? Um, Pat, no, I do not know anybody that clones juices. Um, if anybody could clone a juice, it'd be DeMillan. DeMillan's really good at that. Um, me if you personally, wanna, no. If you want to try something, you know, if you want to try something as sort of a clone type thing, you might want to go look on e liquid recipes and see if there's something out there. That'd be about the closest thing I can think of. <laughs> Well, thanks, April. I can so see scuba learning banjo and being on the riverbank somewhere. Really? Damn. I'm not that country. Are you sure? Okay, I'm a little country. I'm a little, I'm a little country. <laughs> a little bit. But I'm not that bad. <laughs> yeah, you don't look scary enough for the banjo on the riverbank. Janet, I hope, I hope that we have brightens your weekend up just a little bit I, I, I truly um, my prayers and thoughts go out to you and your family and I and I hope I hope things are better for you I'm really sorry about what happened yeah that's yeah I don't even know what to say I, I, yeah I mean really I mean, it's like Chris Reisner has won Chris congratulations, congratulations Chris now let's see if I can do this I haven't done this in a while I know. Let's see if let's see if speak and get it. <laughs> Demillon says cloning's near impossible. It always ends up way better. That's awesome, Demillon. Demillon, you know that oh bitch, yes. please, man, that stuff is really good. And I didn't even have the exact right ingredients to make it, but I made something similar, and that stuff was like crack, man. I was like, oh my god. And I mean, when I say it's like crack, it was exactly like crack. <laughs> it's like, wow, what the heck? I probably so Chris shouldn't Reisner, even say that on YouTube. But okay. Nightbot's got in there, you know, to send email to scubawinners at gmail.com. Also include what you've won and any other pertinent information that Nightbot's asking for. All right, that was one code. Let's do one <laughs> more. Um, let's start it again. This is for the second. Uh oh, Ed is live, so Ed is doing. I'm um, Ed. I, Jazzy's doing the waffle right now, live on Facebook. So everybody leaves the chat now and goes watch Jazzy, but that's fine. All right, um, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> I don't even know what he's giving away right now. What is he doing? Is it a T class or what? I don't know. Um. Jazzy does great waffles, guys, and it's not fixed by any means. You should know better than that. Jazzy's um, waffles are definitely on the straight up and up. The problem is figuring out the right net, the right. Uh, why is it not coming up? Picking the right number. It's well, there. It is. It said he was live, and I missed the button. XX Mini Brotherhood. I just want to see what he's doing. I don't want to click on the live because it'll interrupt the broadcast. But Let's see, he did a waffle. This is for a Black Shadow T class. Let's see who all entered the waffle. Hey, hey Pat. And Sue. If, you, if, if you're looking for somebody to try to imitate a juice, you're probably going to have to send them some so they can try it out to see what's in it. Let's talk crap about Jazzy while he's live. I wonder if he'll notice. <laughs> we got to talk crap about Jazzy. I see him. I see Chubbs in the background back there, but I'm not. <laughs> I gotta mess with Jazzy. Oh, look at all so, the people entering. Yeah, he's doing a T class. Um, oh, oh, he's been it. on. Well, my stupid notification is slow as hell. Yeah, mine just came up a little bit a couple minutes ago too. Hey, I meant to tell you. So uh, Simon with Coily yes. has um, the injection molding going now. 
Oh, really? So, is it, um, got base. Congratulations. Look at there. Look who won. There the you guy go. that just bought, all, you just bought all that juice, and now you won a coupon code for 65% off. Wow. I mean, wow. You, I, wow. Now you're going to have to order more juice. Yeah, you should have waited. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, there See, you go. Now, now you can go buy that one liter of Milena. You're very welcome, Janet. What's a Jazzy? You don't know Jazzy Jag, Daedalus? Oh, man, everybody knows Jazzy Jag. He's on the SX Mini Brotherhood group in Facebook right now, and I know that Munchkin posted a link a minute ago, and I'm sure that we can... Piff the damn it, Janet. Damn it, Janet, would you like the 65% off coupon code to Higgy Sigs? Because Got Base just bought a bunch of juice. So he's giving you the coupon code if you would like it, Janet. And it'd be my pleasure to give you that coupon code if you would like it. Wow, Janet, I I can't even imagine what you went through watching that on the news. Then you rewound it and played it over and over. Uh, it's like, oh my God. I thought they held off on, on doing that until the family was notified. You know, I thought that too, Speed. I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, why would they post that on the news and then go, well, the names haven't been released yet, blah, blah, blah. But it, it's just like, what a way to find out on the news, you know? You would expect a phone call way before it ever hit the news. Creed, back it down. Um, yeah, it, oh, so I think, welcome, Janet, Janet. I think Janet wants it, so good. So awesome. Janet, let me, um, uh, Janet should know how to email me at this point, but thanks yeah. to Lars. Oh, thanks to Lars. She beat me to it, dang it. I'm not doing my job. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. So. You've got both codes out now. Nothing for hardware tonight. No, I, I'm i going to have hardware ready to go by next week. I'm going to make a new list, and then we'll be good to go. Because I have to get that whole box resorted, and then go, okay, this is what we're giving away. Because I don't want, you know, I don't want it to be any confusion involved. I don't want to try and do it tonight, and then go, okay, well, you have to pick 2, 11, and 30, or whatever, you know. So when I make the new list, it's going to be all brand new numbers, one through whatever, and cool. then y'all can pick it, and it'll it'll just help out a lot better. Well, put me in for the VLS. Put you in for the VLS. I don't jack up my giveaways. If you win the VLS, you win the VLS. <laughs> you gotta you gotta figure out which number the VLS is going to be, and I don't share that at all. So you know, if you uh, get no, lucky, I you know, you're good to go. I still remember when you did the, the Iron Man thing, and I said, just don't hide Iron Man, and you hit Iron Man. Oh, yeah, exactly. When I was like, okay, if y'all guess what's missing from my background, that was crazy because um, you picked 2, 11, and 31. <laughs> Stina. Breeze made that mod stand, and Breeze is getting her package tomorrow from me. Breeze won that uh, mech mod, the Fagati. Oh, nice. And I, uh, uh, yeah, she won the, the Fugatti, and K Fun won a K Fun, believe it or not. So, K Fun got that delivered today, I do believe. So, uh, Breezes is coming in tomorrow. And then that way I have everything caught up, finally. And um, I'll be able to fix, I'll be able to make sure I get everything caught up. And then when I send stuff out, it's going to be on track. Boom, 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 boom. Munchkin, what, what was Jazzy giving away tonight? Yeah, it looks like he gave away the um, the T-Class. Now, I don't know who won. Oh, Sue won? I, it's, I was going to say, it sounds like Sue again. Sue wins her ass off. Um, Pat, I think it's the RX-3 or something like that. Um, it's the, the third RX Gen. Gen 3. Yeah, RX Gen 3. Look up that one, Pat. If it looks identical to it, then that's it. 
That RX2 actually Gen looks like 3. a pretty good mod. I've heard some good reviews on it. Yeah. I think that's RX Gen 3. Because I don't have a Gen 3. I have the one, the Gen 2, the one before that. And I got oh. a green one of that, wherever it is. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, no, I've got one of those. So mine looks too. completely different. It has big, wide buttons at the bottom, you know. Um, it's not like the... And this one takes 2700s. Or you can put 18650s in there, but you got to use adapters for it. Yep, yep. I See, I got this nice... All over the place. I've got this nice shelf from... From Breeze. Richard's got still waiting on a bumper sticker? Oh man, Can't Richard, you need to Yeah, gum it, man. I need your address, Richard. Just email me and give me your address because I have a a limited supply of bumper stickers left. I still owe the shopkey one and I owe you a bumper sticker. Just send me your info and I'll try and get you one out. That's my bad. I, I and then whatever I have left over, I'll be giving those bumper stickers away. I don't even have a bumper sticker on my own freaking car. Shame on you. I know, right? Uh, but what am I? What am I? Get one viewer? Uh, <laughs> hey, you know it's your own show. You got to do something. Uh, it's you know I don't have five hundred to a thousand viewers for every show. I. And it don't really matter to me. Um, I know my viewers are loyal, so they always watch the show. So, it, you know, I could talk about dirt and they would come watch the show, which is freaking awesome. Because it's hard. I mean, I've been doing this for years, guys, years. It's hard to come up with topics to talk about every week. Boom, boom, boom. I used to do this show twice a week. Wow. Um, yeah, I did it twice a week. When we're back on over on Vapors TV, I did it Tuesdays and Fridays. And it honestly, it it's very taxing on you. For me to be able to do reviews on top of that, mm -mm, it, it just ain't happening. And, and, you know, I know what Vic has to go through in editing all the videos and stuff. There's just no, there's no time for that. You know, I thought about doing reviews and... No, I just, I can't put the time into it. Because I'd want to do at least, you know, a couple a week, and I, no, I, I can't do that. Quality Hell, I don't even have time to be online half the time any, anyways. Munchkin, you've got a, you've got a bumper sticker, I thought. And whenever there was dead air, well, yeah, that's true. I did do I did do shows just to fill dead air time. Um, there was a lot of a lot of casters, which even now you see that don't make their shows. So I would go in and fill in. Um, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Vic, yeah, Vic, doing reviews and stuff. Now I could do that and probably get a lot more subscribers oh, but yeah. this is oh, the yeah. thing if I do that I'm gonna lose contact with no I missed it Janet let me try and scroll back I would lose contact with my subscribers and I wouldn't be able to see what they said um, I finally have a car to put the bumper sticker on my car is scuba blue <laughs> awesome Janet hey you go girl she got her a scuba blue car <laughs> Hell yeah, Janet. I'm glad you got a car. You can actually drive places now. You can go to the stove. <laughs> she got a new car, too. She got a new one this week. Nice, Janet. Nice. Well, at least that's one good thing in your life that's going on right now. Um, you know, life is crazy like that. So, Scuba TV all the time. Well, hey. <laughs> It's hard for me to do this show without speed now. I, I got really used to doing it solo, but honestly, once speed came on, it got so much easier to do the show with speed that I hate it when he's not here. I absolutely hate it. It's like, damn, I have nobody to feed off of. And you kind of get used to it, and it's like, damn, man, I, you know, I can do it by myself, but I'd much rather have speed here. Much rather have speed here. I have to admit, I was rather touched with, I got a lot of messages 
asking where I was and why you know why I wasn't on the show and did the people See? miss me and I I have to I was kind of touched with that I didn't realize that you know I'm on the show with you and I have fun doing it I didn't realize people really people actually me care how's Marine yeah. doing um, April thank you for asking my Marine yeah. son that's what's weird um, you know he's he's over in Okinawa now and. The last text that we really got from him, it says, hey, I'm on a C-130. I won't be able to talk to y'all for a while. And then we got the whole thing about the C-130 crashing in Savannah. And I'm like, holy uh, crap. But I knew that they didn't fly him from freaking <laughs> Okinawa to Savannah. So I knew it wasn't him. But it's still scary to hear something like that. Same kind of plane. Janet sent a photo. Yeah. Oh, Janet sent me a uh, excuse me, a picture of a car. <laughs> Let me. I, I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at that color. I love it, Janet. I love it. Awesome. Oh, put it that up. Is put it pretty. Up. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you want to see. see it? Um, yeah. hold, hold on. That's easier said than done. All right. Let me if, try if Janet see. doesn't mind. If Janet doesn't mind. Do you mind if we put your picture up, Janet? Let me know because I can't see chat right now. I will put I'll a picture you know. up of your scuba blue car. That is a very beautiful blue. That looks just like my Sarn drop. I love that blue right there. Oh, that is a nice blue then. And apparently Jazzy's got Waffle number 28 posted. If y'all haven't entered a Waffle, go do it. There's no reason why you shouldn't enter the Waffle. I mean, if you can win a T-Class for a fraction of the cost, and to be honest with you, you may say, oh, I don't like the spinners on it. I'll tell you what, mine has spinners on it. They don't get in my way. The, nope. the mod still vapes great. What it's other, great... what do you need? Well, I mean, that's I have to admit, that spinner on the top, I actually yep. kind of like it. Yeah, every once in a while, you'll hit the top spinner. Now, the front spinner, I never mess with it. But the top no. one, every once in a while, you'll catch me spinning it. Um, but it, it ain't like it spins, you know, three minutes or anything. It, it You spin it and it stops almost instantly, but it's still pretty cool. Damn, Green, Grim Green just went live, according to my YouTube. Did, did, oh, did Sue Janice... pipped the T-Class to, to Munchkin. What? What? Wow. Holy crap. Uh, let me go back that to chat. Did Janet say we can was, post her picture or not? No, she had, Oh, yeah, no, she said go ahead. Okay, okay. Let me add this picture. Wow, Sue, that is awesome. Holy awesome crap. Job, Sue. You piffed a mod to somebody? Now, that's see, that's the kind of vape community that I'm talking about right there. Why is it not showing? What the hell? Let me fix this. XSplit so picky. You got to go in there and tell it, hey, yeah, you can still post this. Exclusive. Let me turn off exclusive. Um, there we go. See, I knew it would work. I just got to fix it. So I see the back portion of the car. Where's the front Why portion? is it not? Urgh. Why is it showing that in the picture? Oh, my God. All right, wait. Let me move this over and see if that fixes it. There we go. Can you see it now? Oh, that is a... Oh, I love Look that Look at that color. blue. Isn't that awesome? That is. I don't know what kind of car it is, though. I I don't either. It's not a, it's not a Kia Soul, so... And she's at a Chevrolet dealer, but that don't mean anything necessarily. Oh, I'm not as familiar with my Chevys anymore. If that's a Chevy, that would surprise me. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah, no, that's a beautiful car. Congrats, Janet. Scuba Sue piffed me a T class. That's freaking awesome. Sue, hey, props to you, Sue. I, I, I'm speechless. I can't believe that somebody would piff a mod to somebody. You see how the vape community is? That's freaking awesome. How is Mrs. Scuba? I haven't seen her, been on and off. She's watching right now, Pat, trust me. She's just being quiet in there, but she's on. Ah, Toyota RAV4. Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense. It is a RAV4. Okay, RAV4. I know exactly what car it is now. 
And, and, you know, if y'all look at Jazzy's Waffles, you could basically buy every slot in there and still buy the T-Class cheaper than it would be to buy it online. Yeah. I, you know, I know when I did the last uh, waffle, the one that I actually won on, um, I was piffed three slots. So... I ordered two slots of my own, and one of the two that I ordered actually won. I, I picked number two and number nine, I think, and number two won. And I was like, wow, because I always lose. I always lose. And when that my name come up, I was like, holy crap, I actually won one. It took forever, but you know what? You just got to keep trying at it. You just got to keep trying. Um, uh, that's cool though. Most people win without having to spend a buttload of money like I did. But hey, it's fun to try. You can't win if you don't play. So it's, it's fun to try. 89,000 miles for 13 years? That's good. That's that's damn good on the mileage, Janet. That's damn good. <clears throat> oh, V Live your is on. It live. must be it must be mod envy time. Alright, guys. I'd hate to end up interrupt y'all's mod envy time so y'all can get some broke dick juice or something, but um. Well, yeah. and, and Scuba, once we're done with the show, I've got something I need to do with you. You need to do with me? Uh oh. Yep. I'm in trouble now. I don't even. Know oh no, that. no, no! I think you'll be very happy, but I need to make sure of something. I have. All right. For an update, guys, I want to give y'all an update on my blood pressure. Um. I've been taking lisinopril, which is the same medicine I've been taking forever, but there's a, an additional medicine that goes along with it. Now, I was taking one type of medicine, and I switched it to another one, which is what they gave me that actually worked. Um, it does make me dizzy in the mornings, but it's actually bringing my blood pressure down. I, I think the last time I checked my blood pressure, I was 135 over 96, which... Is still not the best in the world, but it's better. Yeah, I mean, my blood pressure was what 140, 150 over 109 or something. Yeah, so for me to job. get the second number down below 100, <laughs> I'm doing good because uh, it's always been too high. Always it's been that, too high. It's that stressful job you've got. My job. <laughs> well, now, my, I would say my job's not stressful, but sometimes it is. It's a pain in the butt to do, and my boss is getting very forgetful, so I'm having to make up for his mistakes, uh -oh. which that's where the problem comes in. When I have to do something two or three times because of his screw-up, that's where I find a problem. Um, if it wasn't for that, it, it wouldn't be that bad of a job. Um, your job would probably be ten times easier than what I do right now. So, I'll trade you jobs for a while. I could not keep up with your job. <laughs> One fourteen over sixty-eight. That's not bad, Wolf Shadow. If I could get my second wow. number down to sixty-eight, I'd be set. Even the hospital could not get my systolistic, cyst, whatever the hell, Syst the second systolic. Systolic. They could not That's get it below ninety. Okay, and that's the diastolic. No, the diastolic's always been high. Um, yeah, th but that's the lower number. It all pays the same. What pays the same, DeMillon? What pays? Jobs. Oh, okay, yeah, jobs. I was going to say, if you're talking about YouTube, I think I've the only money I've ever made off YouTube is what I've gotten donated from pretty much Talion and... And it, they never give you the money till you reach a hundred. So I got my first hundred like five months ago. Never seen any money since then. And I, but then again, I've never been on YouTube to make money, and I never will be on there to make money. I don't care. Dirk, thanks, Demillon. Yeah, Demillon. See, Demillon's been around long enough. She knows a dark term. <laughs> Systolic is a top. No, they always go. Dial, diastolic then systolic. No, on, diastolic's on, a, on the bottom. That's damn it! When number. you take your blood pressure, is diastolic on the top, and then no. 
systolic. All right, hold on. My God, systolic. Oh wait, shit. Okay, I'm wrong. Fuck. Well, that's what you've been trying to say. You're not always right. I'm no, I'm not always right. You're right. <laughs> Let's see if my blood pressure is down. If this thing's got. Last time I checked this, the batteries were kind of low. But uh, so, Demille is saying when you fix the boss's mistake, it still pays the same. Ah, you're right, Demillin. Hopefully my blood pressure's down. That would be awesome. See, what's bad is if I know when mine's high because I can actually feel it. I can too because it just pumped twice. When it pumps twice, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, not always. Not always. Sometimes it's just, it's just the machine. I've been taking my medicine later at night just to get it down some. I take mine at night before I go to bed. Shit. All right. Well, 153 Don't. over 105. Um, I it's it's late in the day, end of the week, so don't worry about it. Yeah, the diastolic is the one I can never get down. Then um, that second number is such a pain in the ass. One oh five is high for me, but I've usually got that down to in the nineties. I um, I checked it. Well during the day and I can get in the 90s as long as I'm taking my medicine so I've been taking the medicine yeah. trying to get my blood pressure down mm -hmm. I don't want to have a damn stroke if I have a stroke I'll be coming on here and can't even build something because I'm gonna be out of it so that would suck. Uh, no don't do that just take it easy relax you'll be fine uh, all right all right, guys, we're going to bump off of here because I know Speed's got something he needs to talk to me about. I don't know what that I is. Do. But, I do. Um, All right, everybody, you have a great weekend. We'll yeah, talk have a great later. weekend, guys. And I know that um, Vape Showcases this weekend, I'm not going to be attending. So if you come looking for me, you're going to be looking really hard. But um, I'll be right here. Um, am I still low-carving it? DeMillen, um Damn, did I take my meds? I didn't take them yet. Fuck. I'll take my meds. Um, low carbing, I'm going to start back on Monday. Um, I've been trying to do non-low carb for a little while, but I gained seven pounds. So I think I need to start back on low carb. But y'all have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys next week. Same time, same right. channel. And y'all have a great one. Peace out. Night, everybody.